Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the May edition of the Chamber Chat Program. And welcome to my co-host this morning, Kathy Hendrickson's well, here. Good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. She is the director of the DeKalb Library Systems, and also I keep her on the Chamber Board. I find a way to keep her there, like, forever. Yeah, it's for life. It's for yeah. life, yeah, with her. If, if I like you, you're on for life. Brother Chad's <laughs> probably going to be going here after a little while. <laughs> no. I love Brother Chad. I'm just joking. And uh, But anyway, you know, Kathy, we've got we've, we've been on a long time hiatus of not getting to go hardly anywhere that's right and so you want to stay tuned because we got lots of real live events coming up yeah we're busting loose we are yeah They're, we're breaking out we are bringing out the events yeah we are so but you know my very first thing that I like to talk about are our new chamber members new members I wow. get so excited mm -hmm. brother Chad can tell you over yeah. here he'll be here in a minute but um, our first new member is Real Source LLC Title Insurance and Real Estate Closings. I don't know if that's really their whole title. I just put it there. Okay. And the owner is Doris Phillips. I cannot wait to meet Doris, but the office manager, Katie Harris, is here this morning, and she is fantastic. Good morning, Katie. Good morning, Good morning lady. Good morning. We're so Good glad to have you Thank this morning. Thank you for having me. We just got over here, and we were just having conversation yeah. and forgot we, we a had party. a show yeah. coming up. That's right. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about, well, first, where are you located? Yes, we are located at 404 West Public Square. So we are in the old Webbs building um, where Tire oh. Nutrition was at one time, right beside mm -hmm. Keith Blair's office. Oh, so well, we got, Everybody knows yep. where that yes. was. Yeah. So we got a fabulous office. It's really nice. Oh, I'm so glad that. that building's full now, is, too. Yes. That's awesome. Yeah, we love being on the square right there with oh. everybody. So I know. Yeah. Boy, it's going to be really fun during Jamboree time. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Mm -hmm. she got a ringside seat. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> oh, and there'll be air conditioner. Maybe yeah. we'll make best friends with Katie. Yeah, she right. was sitting the Y'all come on over. Yeah. <laughs> So, Katie, tell us a little bit about Real Source. Okay, absolutely. So, we are, we're Real Source. Um, we're a title company. We do title insurance. So, what we specialize in is the purchase sales of, you know, property, real estate property. We work with realtors, lenders, buyers, the sellers. Um, and, guys, we're excited because, you know, we love DeKalb County, but we're also expanding into other parts of Tennessee, you know, getting to meet realtors and clients there. Yeah. And so that's been really good and fun for us. So, yeah, we just work closely with our lenders, you know, for the, the most exciting part is seeing those first time home buyers. You know, that that's mm -hmm. the thing. Like, they go from anxious to the day of closing. Yeah. It's so like exciting. The excitement they just can't in. wait. You can't wait. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So that is just, you know, we're so glad to be a part of that and that experience with them. And we just have so many great realtors and lenders and everybody that we work with. Um, but our company, Real Source, it was started by Doris back mm -hmm. in 2004 in Alabama. And she has expanded now to five states. Wow. So we're building, you know, our mm -hmm. company and everything. Um, and like I said, she's had title experience. Um, and one thing that we love about this company is we're not just we're not just work based. She has a nonprofit organization, the Circle of Love, and we're looking to expand that here also. So it reaches out to families in need. So we're super excited about you know being a part of the community. Yes. stuff. they'll do the back to school, the Christmas for kids. Sure. So that's something we're lo really looking forward to you know expanding here in Tennessee also. So. But yeah, we've got, um, right now, it's me and another processor. We're looking to expand and to get more employees, hoping to have about four employees here so that we can just have this booming, you know, business. Mm -hmm. And we're just really excited to be here yeah. now. So. We love here. We're excited we're here to have here. jobs. We yeah. love, love, love yes, that. Yeah. Yes, New absolutely. businesses. We love it. Oh, we're so excited. We cannot wait to have your ribbon cutting. You know, I, I may be on vacation that week. I'm just saying. <laughs> but I have good board members that will be there to support you in the ribbon cutting on Remind me the date, May 21st, May 21st at 10 o'clock. Yes. It's open to the community. We're going to have some door prizes. We're going to have some food, just have a good time. And we want the community to just come out to, um, you know, just to meet all of us, see our office space, just kind of meet Doris and her husband, Glenn. So, um, yeah, everybody's invited. 
Huh? Yeah, you know, it's a good thing I'm going to be going uh, because let me tell you, I've read all about Doris and, and, and it's kind of intimidating here. Is she yeah, pretty sweet she, though? She's amazing. Is she? She's yeah. amazing. She's a, she's got lots of accolades there. I yes. Thought. Yeah. She's a woman of power, but she's very down to earth and uh, she is just amazing and she's one of the sweetest people ever and we just love her. Like I can't say enough good things about her. Wow. Well, welcome to the Cab yeah. County. Yeah. Look forward. And so glad you're on the square Thanks. and uh, we look forward to having your ribbon cut. Thank and you. Uh, we'll come out and get a new member picture and yes. all that. We'll, we'll do that on a date that and actually. And I hate you're missing out because I was like, we should have karaoke. And I was going to say if you could sing for us. Well, you know, <laughs> since, I had, since I had my accident, I sound like Rod Stewart now, I think. You know, I'm thinking I do. That might be good. People, I love that. Yeah. I know. Kind of yeah. this gruff, you yeah. know. Yeah. Is that a man or a woman talking? I don't know. It made her all proud. Who knows? That's right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, it'd draw a crowd, yeah. all right. Then they would leave, leave in a hurry. Then they'd be singing out. But Oh, Katie, so nice to nice, meet nice you. Nice to meet you. And uh, we look forward to coming down. We'll get the new member sign and do all that stuff. And we'll do that when a bunch of us are in town. And then Kathy's going to go over and lead up the ribbon cutting. We will watch our fingers because we, we have giant scissors. Yeah. <laughs> no, no fingers. No fingers. <laughs> we got the real scissors. Yeah. 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 Well, she does so. She does too. Yeah. Uh, love it. Thank you. Know. you. Nice Thank meeting you, Katie. Katie. Thank you. Well, Doris, we'll meet her soon. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Han. Well, what we got next here, Kathy? Well, oh, 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 we got another new member. Okay, so I got to tell you about this one, Infinity Athletics, and the owner is Jennifer Sykes, mm -hmm. and so I took my grandchildren a week or two ago over to Infinity Athletics. It got me in the mood to exercise. I mean, and that that's a miracle. Well, that's good. I mean, all that tumbling, it was so colorful. I, could, so I, I went to talk to Jennifer, and she said, she said, Miss Suzanne, oh, which always makes me remember how old I am. She said, Miss Suzanne, how do I join the chamber? And I said, oh, I'll set you up here. Oh, you go. So she joined. I'm so excited. Well, and we're going to be doing some videos there. We're going to go over and do a ribbon cutting because she's got a brand new softball and baseball yeah. training and instruction coming up. And... Also, they do, of course, the tumbling and, and training for yeah, cheer competitive, yeah. competitive cheer. cheer. These oh. people are serious. Uh -huh. You ought to see my grandchildren now. They can do these backflip things. This, I mean, they're just all over the place. I can flip, but it's not intentional. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's not. Like do that. I trip over I've my already own tried that. That doesn't work so yeah, well. Yeah, that doesn't work well. Yeah. So anyway, Jennifer's on. Uh, I mean, it is fantastic. Uh, the inside is so cheerful to see, and she's located. Uh, let's see, Kathy, 675 Bright Hill Road. Now, that's behind the Smithville Elementary. Okay. It's easy to find. Huge building. Okay. And she's going to be on the June 2nd Chamber Chat. Okay. She's going to be here this morning. We'll get to meet her. But she is the sweetest thing. And for more information, call 615-691-1470. Or check out their website at infinityathletics.com or check on the Facebook. And I've posted some things on the Chamber Facebook too. So uh, they've got sign ups that are starting like this week for some different things. But it's fantastic. Let me tell you, I told her I felt like I was like in a one of those. I've been over in the Murfreesboro, the big center mm -hmm. where they, because my other grandchildren live over there. And I said, this is right up with theirs. Right up their alley. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. awesome. Yeah. And then, he couldn't be here this morning, but, you know, that Tony Luna, he was here I last know. month. He's, he's, got a, he's got a new business going he's on. He's got a brand new business yeah. downtown. And the name of it, yeah, that's kind of, you know. I know, it's a no boutique way. called the Mail Room, so, M-A-L-E. So no women, huh? Just all men. <laughs> oh, he lets me go in all the time. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Actually, I like the shirts there. I'm thinking of getting me a shirt there. Okay. Uh, but, anyway, it's so cute. It is right in... Walnut Alley, Alley, Brother Chad. 110. Brother Chad's here. Walnut right Alley. down the alley. Right down the alley between West Walnut and West Main. And it is so cute. And you know, back 10 years ago, I don't know if everybody remembers this, but that alley was scary. Yeah. I, I found horrible things in that alley. And I was <laughs> like, ugh, this has got to stop. I can't stand it. I can't let Vester's Alley outdo the other alley. Yeah, well, it, it oh, is. Vester's not listening. It's beautiful now. Because so, Vester's is like fantastic. Yeah. And so we started getting the grants, and I had the buildings painted and got new this and new that. And got, you know, the lights added at the top and one Walnut Street sign, which we put on the Main Street side. And then here comes Tony Luna. 
He adds the umbrellas up there. Oh my goodness, they're so it's cute. It's really beautiful. He added a mural. Mm -hmm. I think Button Willow's added some little tables out there. It is the cutest alley. It is. It's Fester's going to have to up his game now. Yeah. Just step it up. I it, tell you. It's inviting. It it's, 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 it's so it's, cute. It's not scary to walk down that oh, alley it's not. anymore. Oh, and Tony's added some, some fencing there. and I mean, it is fantastic. It just It's a happy place. Yeah. So we're glad to be a part of that and so glad when other people come in there and help and do extra stuff. Yeah. It's like spruce it up a little bit. Yeah. Oh, it's it's it's, it's like being at Dollywood. Yeah. Can I say that? Oh, uh, yeah, well, we go. Uh, you did. So, so I think that's where he stole the idea. Of those they're our umbrellas. silent sponsor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Behind the scenes. Yeah. <laughs> but it's so cute, yeah. especially at night. I just drive down there and just look down the alley. Yeah. So anyway, well, I'm proud of that. And so while we're talking about downtown Smithville, real quick, let's go ahead and talk about the summer block party. All right. Um, that's Saturday, May 22nd. May 2nd, yep. From, what are they going to have, Kathy? From 4 to 10 p.m. on West Main and West Walnut Street. That's what it was. They're going to have yeah. food trucks, live music, oh. vendors, and the perfect day to shop local. Oh. There you go. Sponsored by Button Willow General Store and Coffee Shop and Lake Homes Realty. So, hey, come out. The day will probably be beautiful, and everybody can enjoy a... A wonderful day on the square. Oh, we're going to have perfect weather that day. Yeah. I hadn't, I had, I we're, just, we're, we're ready yeah. to bust loose and get yeah, outside. We're going to bust loose that day. Yeah. I'll, be in, I'll be on vacation again. Well, oh, you okay. think Suzanne's not coming to anything. Yeah. Uh, okay, so mural updates. Oh. i got to talk about this. Okay, so I hope everybody, I've gotten only positive comments. It's beautiful. From the new mural. It's, it's so cute. It is so cute. I love it on the ladder. I know, the ladder guy. The center hill like on the back of his shirt. I had some, I've had three people constant. I thought that was a real guy on the ladder. I think he's yeah. stuck up there. I don't think he yeah. did. No, he is a workaholic. He's a that workaholic. Man, that man, he is. is. His name's Joe. <laughs> wow. I decided to name him after Joe Evans. I asked people on Facebook, what do you want to name our painter? So many good ideas. Yeah. But then somebody said, you know, Joe Evans is the one who came up with this idea. And I said, Joe, it is. There you yeah. go. But you know what? Joe Brown at Button Willow is going to think I named it after him. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. He will. But he, he would will. deserve it too. Yeah. Yeah. And so, anyway, start getting your uh, pictures made with Joe, the painter. He's awesome. Awesome. He promotes our downtown, and uh, and then always tag your photos with hashtag. Let's see, decab tn chamber, and they'll you know we'll have them all together there. So anyway, the the owner of the building, he was here last week, and he sent me a picture of him you know steadying the ladder for Joe. It was really <laughs> cute. And so anyway, go steady the ladder for Joe. Oh, yeah. Get your picture made with the mural. Yes. And the thing is though, I got to tell you guys. You know me, I am a penny pincher. Yes, you are. Probably usually because I have to be. It will squeal. <laughs> it will. My money hollers when it leaves my hand. <laughs> and so we got money to do more murals. Good. I've only got till June 15th to get this pulled off. Wow. Well. But my goal was to get the main one done. And I'm not going to tell you where the next one's going to be, but I've got a smaller one and a bigger one that's coming up. And I'll be, so be watching. So we have to look for be it. Be watching downtown. Oh, yeah. so we got to keep our eyes peeled, right? Oh, oh be okay. watching. Okay. So hopefully it'll quit raining. Yeah. Because well, I've got to get it done. Well. But anyway, uh, it's been such a joy to work with Sun Graphics uh, of Watertown. They live in Alexandria. And uh, they've just been so much fun to work with, and anything I throw at them, they just like, oh, that's fine, Suzanne, let's do it. Well, it's, it's really beautiful. <laughs> so anyway, oh, and I want to say a quick congratulations. Yes. And Brother Chad. Yes. You may want to do this congratulations, because I think she's a big part of your church. She is. Uh, Miss, Miss Susan Hinton is our uh, accompanist, uh, plays our piano at our church, and yeah. uh, uh, Very it's well. a joy to have at our church, and she uh, uh, is the I'm gonna say it right the People's Choice Award winner uh, for the Miss Tennessee Senior Pageant, and so. she's our choice as well. Yes. We love her. Yes. Right, right. I, you know, there's I don't know how she does all she does. Right, yeah. you know, she's she's all she's everywhere she's, all the time. But she's supposed she, to be retired, right? But she's not. Maybe that's how she does it. Yeah, well, I don't, I don't know. know. She's always been that way. But she doesn't seem like she's retired because she's I have, everywhere. Kathy, we have known her since she was a teenager. Uh, she has always been I've just like everywhere. Her, yes, she's awesome. Known her since high school. Yes. So anyway, we love her, and she does represent the Cab County so well, and yeah. we're so tickled she won the People's Choice. Congratulations, Award. Susan. Now, Smithville First Baptist Church. It's a miracle, Brother Chad, but we have finally got together. Oh. I've been told not to click the table. <laughs> we have finally been t we have finally come up with a date for our free movie night. Finally, yes. Finally. Yeah, brother Chad had to do it. I just couldn't. I couldn't do it. But but we got one. Yeah. So. All right. Well, so we're we just... we're going to be out there on uh, June 12th. It's a Saturday. 
uh, outdoor movie um, right there in front of our church. Uh, and we'll have the parking lot right across the street where you can park and watch. Uh, we're going to have popcorn and other refreshments and everything Ooh. over there. Uh, we're looking at getting a... Uh, a, uh, a wh wiffle ball. Oh, wiffle. Wiffle ball, a little wiffle. tournament over there, over off the side. Uh, tournament, maybe. A oh, that's stretch, like a, a, a like a, a softball with holes in it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So we'll yeah. be over there having fun with that, all while we oh. watch our our movie, which is uh, I think we had planned for the the sand one. Oh, so, I love it. Yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah. Uh, that's like excited that as summer's here, baseball tears, movies here. Uh, just a time to get out and enjoy the community and everything and so we're excited for that so yeah yeah and if you'd like to help sponsor the movie I know most of you out there are thinking well the movies you can go get them in the movie box for three bucks they're not no. free actually when it's when you're showing it to the public. Yes. <laughs> somebody said, why don't we have a movie like every week or every month? Yeah. It's because I had to pay $500. To watch a movie, yes. <laughs> to watch a movie that we could get for, you know, probably free on TV. Yeah. But uh, the thing is, we want to do it right. We, uh, You know me, I'm a, I don't like to break rules. And so uh, if you'd like to help sponsor that, be a partial sponsor or sponsor the whole thing, we'll just... Me and Brother Chad, we'll be spreading your name everywhere if you want to sponsor it. There you go. But I couldn't do this without First Baptist. Let me tell you, thank you all, Smithville First Baptist, for providing all the manpower. They help us park, and 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 they'll have. And I'm hoping they have a hot dog machine. We need a really. We do have a hot dog. Okay, machine. I was they thinking. They have the roller and stuff. Oh yeah, like yeah. We got cotton it candy and smell, popcorn. Let's you know, sell the so, yeah. hot. We gotta have hot dogs, Lots of yeah. popcorn. We'll have a food. good time. We'll yeah. have a good time. Yeah. Lots of food. Oh. Maybe we'll sell that stuff to. Uh, Pay for the movie. <laughs> we might have to. Who knows? Who knows? So. We'll get her done. We'll figure yeah, it out. We have faith. There you we're, go. We're praying, right? There we go. Okay, there so what go. else is going on at the church? Anything? Well, uh, we, we're gearing up for uh, the summer. Uh, actually, actually, really gearing up for next uh, next week. We're having our Pinewood Derby race. Oh, oh I that. love that. So, so we cool. used to do that when the kids were little. Yeah, so if anybody wants to come and watch the race, that'll be next Wednesday at church. And then uh, we're gearing up our... Our, for our VBS, our Vacation Bible School. Oh, yeah. I know it seems like it's maybe too early, but we're going to be doing that in the last part of June, June 27th through the 30th, so right, leading right into the, the January. Jamboree. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, it's going to be a busy week, but it a good is. time. So, But, yeah, we're excited for everything going on, so uh, it's going to be a busy summer, and yeah. it's just nice to get back out there and start doing things yeah. again. So, yeah. See people again. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think Sycamore Baptist Church is going to have our hours the week before yours so that'll okay. work out just right and i went oh yeah. thank you for doing that right before the jam Church family i'm glad y'all love me so much <laughs> yeah that's what i said but you know my guilt didn't work they still yeah. uh still gonna have it then so anyway well brother chad we appreciate all that y'all yes, do yes, yes. We've, hey you you're welcome to stay if you want to well we have to go uh we're actually um, giving some uh, cupcakes soon and I, I would say this is a big shout out to our yeah. teachers uh, yeah. it is teacher appreciation week so, yes I said about uh, yesterday well we did something for Northside and uh, I'm heading out now to go do the same thing for uh, Smithville Elementary so if you have a teacher out there if your kids in school so send the teacher a note or a little treat this week I think they'll, yeah. they'll love that they will appreciate that. it so, thank yeah. you for bringing so, that up so, yes thanks brother Chad we love our teachers we yes, appreciate yes. all the, and they've had really some major struggles it's been a rough Year. This has been, been a, a year. crazy year. <laughs> Teaching yeah. from home but and they've school. They've done it. They've they did. survived. They've, they've survived. done it and the so. students have done yeah. it. So yeah. congratulations. Congratulations right. to all of When the dust settles, if you're still standing, I say it's a good day. It's a good day. It is. <laughs> there you go. Y'all have a blessed day. All right. Thanks, Thanks Brother Chad. <laughs> all right. Oh, something I found in the paper, Kathy. Did you see that? 4-H? Okay. It's Yeah. The 4-H Traveling, traveling Roadshow, Monday, yeah. June the 14th at Greenbrook Park. Uh, register by June the 1st. Mm-hmm. Fourth to seventh grades. Cost is $25. Lunch and lots of great activities. Sounds fun. And call 615 597 4945 for more information. The 4 H Camp Traveling yeah, Road Show. That sounds fun, doesn't it? I thought it did. Yeah, get on the road. Well, I just want to give a shout out again to the Alexandria Community Park for the just their gratitude. You know, we uh, Mayor Stribling and I wrote a three star grant to get a new playground for Alexandria mm -hmm. Community Park. Mm -hmm. And we had probably, I don't know, 60 people that came yeah, out for I the ribbon the cutting. Yeah, it looks like I mean, proud. everybody, 
wouldn't even be in the picture. We only got a, a portion of the yeah. people in the picture. Yeah. Some of them were like, no, 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 they were all shy. But we had so many people there that day supporting it. And we just uh, so glad to be able to contribute that. April Martin has done so much to help organize the Alexandria, we call them the volunteer moms. And, yeah. and they're so devoted and committed and they're raising more funds now to, to add on to what we've been able to do. So we look forward to that. And John Henderson, he has a son in Alexandria. He made us that beautiful sign that you, you can see on Facebook. Mm -hmm. We didn't have it up that day, didn't have time. But he did that for free. He would not let us pay for the materials or or the labor or anything, yeah. and, and that was just precious. So and many turned sweet out so people good. That, that just partner and help people out, and we've just got such a wonderful community. Yes, and speaking of wonderful community, Jennifer Matthews has just gotten here. She is Yay. the director of the Cap Prevention Coalition. She works with uh, Lisa Cripps, and they work in the office right next to yeah. me. You know neighbors. how I love that. Neighbors, yeah. yeah. We are neighbors. <laughs> You, did you swap sugar? Do you go over bar sugar and stay? Oh, like they that? got a coffee machine in there uh, now, and they keep coffee. I mean, it's just awesome. Okay. And, and then if we need some girl talk, we just run over. Yeah. Uh, but you know, Jennifer, you've got lots going on with the Cap Prevention Coalition. We did. Y'all are just going back and forth in the hall, back and forth in the hall. Yeah. I had to um, bring my notes. To yeah, make bring sure. your notes. <laughs> Lots of stuff. So we do, and um, for the ones that don't know, um, <clears throat> the DeKalb County Prevention Coalition, we're the anti-drug coalition here in town. Um, we focus on um, uh, underage alcohol use, tobacco use, and just prescription drug abuse in general. We're grant funded from the Department of Mental Health and Substance Abuse Services. And with that, we um, there's a lot of great stuff we can do in the community, but there's some stuff we can't do because we're funded, you know, by mm -hmm. the state grant. Mm -hmm. So what Lisa and I and our coalition, what we have to do is we have to do fundraising. Yeah. Um, so we can have unrestricted money. Right. So something that we have coming <clears throat> up this weekend, Ooh, this Saturday, is everybody's our, gonna love this. Yes, is our big um, community yard sale. It's our annual yard sale. We had it last year. We were able to um, raise a ton of money for the coalition. Um, all of the unrestricted money that we use, um, we keep it in DeKalb County in Smithville. Some of the stuff we've done with that money, you know, this week is Teacher Appreciation Week. Oh, So yeah. we love our teachers here in Smithville in DeKalb mm -hmm. County. We love all the teachers in Tennessee. So um, we're actually providing breakfast and lunch for them this week. Oh, how we sweet. Are. Lisa is actually delivering homemade muffins as we speak oh. <laughs> to them. Um, so that's some of the stuff we do with the short sale money. Um, so we have that coming up this Saturday. It's, and she's got a mountain of stuff oh there. <laughs> a lot of it's yours. A lot of it's mine. I've been cleaning out closets. And <laughs> I have a trunk full right now. <laughs> That's Jennifer good. and I say we bring a, a bag full every, every time, we come time. To work. Yeah. Well, that's, that's a good thing. It, it helps somebody else and it helps you get rid of it the things. That, that, that's... It does. And so um, we're still taking donations the rest of the week. We'll take donations, I mean, during the event Saturday. Last year we had a gentleman, um, he was cleaning out his garage and he stopped and he was like, what are y'all doing? I'm like, oh, we're doing this um, fundraiser for the Anti-Drug Coalition. He was like, I have some stuff. Can I bring it? I'm like, sure. About one o'clock during the yard sale, he's just bringing stuff by. And I'm like, great, you know, yeah. let's, let's get the stuff sold for you. New stuff. Exactly. Um, so we sell the stuff super cheap. It's usually about a dollar an yeah, item. Yeah. Um, our larger items, we just, you know, whatever you want to give us, we'll take it. Um, you know, we're wanting to raise money to do stuff in the community. Yeah. So. And they do a lot of great things. Her, mm -hmm. her and, and Lisa are busy all the time. Oh, they are. Let me tell you. They are going to schools. They are <laughs> going to, they are just doing so much in our community to bring people aware of, you know, the problem we mm -hmm. have. And Well, and there's so much we want to do, but, you know, we're restricted on a lot of the stuff yeah. with us being, you know, funded by the state. Yeah. Um, something else that we were able to do with this money, um, that we raised last year, our um, seniors, the 2021 graduates, congratulations. Yay, <laughs> I've got one. Um, yeah. So they have Grandson. a um, project graduation that they do um, after graduation every year. And we wanted to help sponsor that, but we can't sponsor things with our grant money. So with our money we raised last year, we were able to sponsor their t-shirts this year. So, I mean, we do really good yeah, stuff with the money do. we raise for this. 
Um, so that's this weekend from 8 to 5. It's at the Community Complex parking lot, just a large parking lot outside. We'll be there. It starts about 8 o'clock. We end whenever everything's about gone. Um, what we don't sell, we do donate all of it to the Hope Center. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, if you do donate items and we can't get rid of it, we do give it to the Hope Center. Yeah. So oh, do and they that. do such good work for the community, too. Mm -hmm. So, you got something else coming up? We do. Oh. Let me pull my switch. Put your my notes paper. Out. I'm glad you brought yours. I forgot <laughs> mine this morning. So, we also have something coming up on May the 22nd. It's at the Elizabeth Chapel. Um, we're going to have it outside if it's pretty, but if it rains, we have a backup plan and we're going to have it in the gym. Um, so, we're called, this is our first year doing this. Um, so, we're going to call it the Hope Fest, the 2021 Hope Fest. Um, it's just a day of hope, a day to celebrate, um, you know, to celebrate life, to celebrate people in recovery. So we're gonna have um, table vendors outside and every um, table vendor, vendor, they offer services to the community. So they're gonna have just information about what they offer and then they're gonna have little activities at the table for um, families to do together. So bring your families, bring your kids. We're gonna have free face painting, free lunch. Aww. We're gonna have live music. And then the table vendors, they're bringing, um, they're like donating door prizes. So throughout the two or three hours, we're gonna um, take names and phone numbers and just kind of yell out somebody's name. Like, oh, Jennifer Matthews, you won a prize donated by, you know, the Chamber of Commerce. Yeah. Or, and then um, you don't have to be there present to win. Um, if your name gets drawn, we'll call you if you're not there. Yeah. So we're gonna have mm -hmm. that going on on the 22nd. Um, if anybody is in the community and you're a vendor, or a business and you would like to have a table set up at this, you can contact us. Um, anybody can come to this. We're gonna have you know mental health providers, recovery providers, the coordinated school health, the, the coordinated okay. school health, they'll be there talking about their summer feeding program. Mm -hmm. The coalition will be there. We're also gonna do free Narcan trainings there. We're also doing free Narcan training at the yard sale. Um, last year when we had the yard sale, we had over 80 community members get trained to carry wow. Narcan. And it yeah. only takes a few minutes to learn. Like yeah. three, five minutes yeah. max. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, oh, so, so yeah. many good things. Lots and, you of know, good stuff. A lot. I, I've <laughs> seen so many, if you think recovery doesn't happen, it does. it does. I have seen so many pictures of somebody mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. and somebody after recovery. I wouldn't have known it was the same person. Yeah. 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 They, you, they don't even look recognizable. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, and I mean, and that's some of the stuff I the Hope Fest that we're going to talk about. We want to kind of let people know recovery is possible. It's there. We have resources here in this community to get help. Um, our court systems will be there. Our um, recovery court will be there. Mental health providers will be there. Um, In-home services will be there. And you don't have to be in recovery to attend this event on the No, 22nd. it's for everybody. It's for the community. Yes. It's for the community. Yeah. Um, just to learn more about what you do exactly. and, and what, what's offered in the community yeah. to them. And if there's a, like a local business here that wants to just set up a table to let the community know what they do, you're welcome to come. Just give us a call or send us a Facebook message. And So what number do they need to call? So they can call the coalition. It's 615-580-9290. That's our um, work cell phone number. You can send a text to that number. You can email us at decabtnprevention at gmail, or you can follow us on Facebook, send us a message on there. Um, all of this information will be on Facebook also. Okay. We'll have our flyers on there. We so. appreciate all Thank you do you. for yeah. our community and to Thank help and, and to just give people that opportunity yeah. for some hope. Yep. Thank, Thank you, you, Jennifer. Good job, Jennifer. I'm glad we didn't have bad weather this yeah. morning. I know. I was yeah. so worried. I know. Just a little chilly. Yeah. That's okay. We'll <laughs> Thank take you. it. Thank okay, you. Okay, so our next guest is here, Kathy, believe it or not. Oh, our favorite person, one of our favorite people. I tell you, Brad Halfacre, I've got him on the line. We are going to do this by phone because yeah. he's cooking this morning, aren't you, Brad? Well, I'm getting ready to. Yeah, we're having a big. Uh, staff appreciation day so i try to i try to uh, show my staff how much i appreciate them you know we try to have a meeting once a month and this time we we you know 
we're with all the COVID restrictions kind of get a little bit little lax and more people getting their vaccine, we're going to have a little luncheon. And so I'm smoking some Boston Buds. Ooh, oh, my, my goodness. Staff. Kathy, don't we have Just time to go over there today? Are we part of the staff? Well, y'all, y'all come on down tomorrow. At, tomorrow at 1130 is where oh. we're going to be eating. So right. you're welcome to Maybe we back. shouldn't have put that on the radio. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. Brad, so what's going, uh, what's going on over at Edgar Evans State Park? Well, we've got a lot going on. Um, we've we've got a cabin renovation project that's that's underway right now uh for the past month about the middle of april we've blocked off a unit and b unit and we're getting a bathroom renovation so they're taking out the old 1970s style 1970s style tub and we're uh we knocked out a little while so the bathroom's going to appear to be a little larger we're going to have a stand-up shower and tile you know floors and, and tile walls so we're real excited about that and then we're getting so we got some paving going on or some sidewalk construction going on right now on our campground so just kind of kind of look over our mess but something huge that we've that we've acquired um ranger taylor put in for an iris fund so i know y'all probably see these tags going around town and going around different areas but there's a Tennessee license plate known and it's got a little flower, a little iris oh, flower, you know, our state okay. flower. Iris flower, yeah, okay. The funds from that license plate gets to go back through what's called the grant, uh, iris fund. So each year, parks can apply for money to be spent on iris fund projects. So what we've got, we've got a huge project underway at the park, and we've just started it. So we're at the point of no return, but <laughs> we are making a butterfly corridor a butterfly pollinator like corridor so when oh, we're done cool. you know at edgar evans we got a lot of steep banks so we're spraying these you know if you drove through it looks it looks good we, we've 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 got the, the grass and it's well manicured and well mowed but also you know we've got to also remember about our environment so one of the things we're doing to kind of help we're kind of going to try to have it the best of both worlds. We're going to, we've, we've sprayed our hillsides in some of the flat areas. We're still going to mow the roadways and own into that just a little bit, but we've killed all the grass on the hillsides throughout the park. And we're going to, we're going to hydro seed and sow some native grasses and pollinator species of wildflowers oh, wow. with that the idea beautiful. of there's something going to be blooming all season long yeah. and so bear with us it's going to look awful for the for a little while and as things die and as we get things replanted it'll probably take us a year to, probably about three good years of this thing growing and everything then we'll start we'll start burning it off so we'll be doing a lot of prescribed burning and and different practices like that but we're going to reduce our mowing by a great deal yeah. and provide pollinator flowers and pretty wildflowers for our guests to see driving through the roadway. So uh -huh. that's been, that's a huge project we got going on. And I thank Ranger Taylor for all his efforts. But as far as programs go, May, you know, we got Memorial Day weekend, Ranger Taylor and Holly are leaving, uh, Holly Taylor, she's our uh, assistant state naturalist. Uh, uh, she helps out Randy Hedgepath, the state naturalist. So she, she does programs with him for him all the time they've got the week-long uh western wallflower tour and you can register for that online on our on our website or through our facebook page but they got boat rides going out all week to go look at this this uh, beautiful uh western wallflower that's only found here in this area huh? this is the it's one of the areas i mean it's 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 well it's found in other places but it's a, it's definitely a rare a rare plant and you kind of get to get get to see it from our boat ride so we've got a lot going on come on out and see us uh, uh, and see see the changes that we're making well that sounds so exciting and let me tell you I want everybody to say, if you've not been on the Ed Grevin State Park website page and uh, in the Facebook Mark Taylor takes some fabulous pictures doesn't he Brad he sure does he's a he's a very talented nature photographer I mean he is he does excellent photo shots so it that if you stay in our cabins, you'll see some of his artwork in our cabins, and also as well as in the in the park office. 
uh, we've got some some prints that we have out in the park office. But yes, he's a very talented photographer. Well, we'll have to ride over pretty soon and and see it in person ourselves. Maybe Kathy and I can ride over and see the new cabins, get some pictures, and and yes. uh, we'd like to do. You know, if you want to do a ribbon cutting, just let us know. Yeah. Uh, oh well, well that's a great idea. Oh, yeah. we're we'll coming. Check I'm it just out. full of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Suzanne's full of it. Yes. <laughs> but that sounds fun. So just let us know and we'll be there. I sure will. We're hoping to do. We're hoping to do ten units a season, ten units a year. Wow. So we're 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 starting with A and B, and, and so it's going to take us. A little while to get them all upgraded, but hey, we'll take it. We'll take it where we can. Work hey, the alphabet. Let me tell you, when I started on the Tennessee Downtowns program for downtown, I knew it was going to take ten years, but ten years just flies by in no time. It so, does. You so, your eyes. <laughs> it sure does. So if you don't do anything, I mean, it doesn't get done. Snap with your fingers. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Brad, Thanks, so Brad. much, and hope you have a great staff day tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all. Y'all take care. All right, okay, Brad. Appreciate Thanks. all you do. Bye, uh, Brad. Bye. Thank you. Bye, bye. And he's the nicest fellow. He is. Oh, he's so sweet. Okay, let me turn this back on silent. Now let's get to the end here. The Appalachian Center for Craft, Kathy. You know, this time of the year they that are. means they've got their spring workshops, they've got their summer workshops, and they have three day. They have six, six days. They've got what? Blacksmithing, clay, fibers, glass, metals, and wood for all skill le skill levels. Skill yeah. levels. <laughs> skill levels. That would be me. Uh, uh, skill levels from novice to professional. I would be uh, way we'll be back in the novice. Yeah, yeah, Maybe yeah. I'm more I'm below, minus, yeah, minus I'm below that. Nationally known artists lead these workshops in their professionally equipped studios. For more information, call 615-597-6801 or check out the Appalachian uh, for Craft Facebook page. They put everything right there and, and I usually there. share it on Chamber page too. So. Um, they do so much good work there. Every time somebody calls and says they're coming to visit DeKalb County, I always say, hey, make sure you get out to the Craft Center. It's fabulous. So, Kathy, I appreciate it. I want to say thank you to you and Jen Sherwood for taking over at the last month's Chamber Chat program. Well, I was at a conference, and appreciate y'all for doing that for we us. We were glad to do it. We had fun, and I think he, uh, Kobe said, got two minutes left, so we were kind of, <laughs> two we, minutes we, we, yeah, yeah, we, we, we had so much fun last last time. Well, so, I had so a we lot on the program, yeah. and I knew it, and I went, yeah. oh, they can manage yeah, it. Yeah, we did it. Y'all can do we it. We can always do that, but yeah, well, the, the library, we've got some, several things going on and of course our big thing that's going on and that we're so happy that we're going to be able to do this is um, we're going to have our summer reading program in person this year Ooh. and we're going to have it at the county complex uh, theater area um, and the, the the title or the theme this year is tales and tales which is t-a-i-l-s and t-a-l-e-s uh, so it will start on the we're going to actually start people registering uh, for signing up for the summer reading program on May the 24th. That way we don't have as many people coming into the library because we're trying to limit that. Uh, we're open, but we are trying to keep as many people, you know, uh, as safe as, still safe as possible. And so you can't have 25 or 30 kids in there at one time. So we're trying to limit that. So we're gonna start our summer reading sign up May the 24th so that people can come in. They can sign up anytime between May the 24th and our final program will be June the 24th. All of our programs, like I say, will be at the County Complex Theater because that way we can spread out, spread the chairs out, and we have more room to, to have our activities. So what's the main date for the, the summer reading program? The summer program? reading program will be every Thursday. It'll be June the 3rd, 10th, 17th. Oh, so you'll not have a one big thing. You it, got it's every four. Week. Every okay, week. Four, four okay. weeks, uh, June the 3rd, the 10th, the 17th, and the 24th at 2 o'clock every day. Uh, the first one is Mr. Bond's science, guys. Everybody loves science, so we, we have him every year. Mr. Barry Mitchell will be doing animal tails, turtle shells, and a chicken. So <laughs> he, he always brings Sam the turtle. Uh, and then uh, Thursday, the 17th, is Bob Tarter. Anybody that hasn't seen him in, in his, his animal, animal lodgy, <laughs> well, anyway, whatever he's having some critters. Yeah. So there we go. But he always brings some wonderful animals with him. So I don't know what he'll bring this time. Sometimes there's snakes and owls, and I know one time we had a red fox. So I don't know what he's bringing this year. You never know. It's never just, know. Mm -hmm. And then our final party. Some of our favorite people will be coming on the 24th, and that will be at Griffin State Park Rangers. And they always bring some animals with them. And they usually have a snake too. <laughs> yeah. And uh, they've they've had a had a hawk one year, yeah. and they brought a turtle. So oh, wow. they always bring some neat things. And and the kids always love the animal programs. So anyway, so sign up uh, and the kids will be getting, I've taken these to the schools, our staff and my have, and so these will be in the re 
report cards, and it tells all about the summer reading program and each, uh, what's going on. And they're all, it'll also be on WJLE and in the review and on our Facebook. So they can have different ways that they'll find out about our summer reading program. And for more information, call us at 615-597-4359. And um, all of the programs for both Alexander and Justin Potter will be at the county complex this year. Okay. Uh, we're also having our May virtual story time. And that will be on <clears throat> Friday, May the 14th at 10 o'clock. And we hope everybody will come and join us online for that, it is, like I say, at 10. And the story will be uh, beginning to end milk to ice cream. And that tells how ice cream, how do you get ice cream? It doesn't just magically appear, it has to start somewhere. So it starts from milk, and it's uh, by Elizabeth Neuenfeld, and it's published by Bell Weather Media Incorporated. We have to thank them for letting us uh, read yes. the book. Yes, you have to, just like you have to pay for uh -huh. it, we need to let, uh, let them, everybody know that who uh, wrote the book and things like that. And they're So you're going to do that, and you check out on Facebook is where you'll see that? Facebook Live, uh, May the 14th at 10 o'clock. So join us then. Uh, and there may be some ice cream involved and maybe a milkshake involved. Ooh. We're not sure. But anyway, that's a little hint where we will be. So just call us for more information. And I do want to do a good shout out. We have, a, uh, we have a wonderful library board. And they're so supportive of the library and have been for, I've been there 21 years. But uh, there's somebody that's been there on the board longer than I've been there. And uh, I have two board members that will be retiring this year oh. uh, at the end of June. And one of them is Annette Greek. Uh -oh. And uh, she has been on the board for 40 years. Wow. And uh, Brenda Hooper, who has been on the board for 18 years. Wow. And so I want to give a, a, a big thank you to both of these board members. They have been so supportive and so dedicated to the library board and to our community. Uh, we are there to serve the, the community and provide as many services as we can free to the community. So we want to thank them for their support, always supporting us, the staff and, and the library and all these years. Uh, wasn't, set, Bre wasn't Brenda Hooper's mother a part of the yes, library? Yes, she was. Yes, Ms. Melford was there, I think, for 30-something years. Wow. But she was, uh, or maybe it was 28 years. But uh, but anyway, we have, a, we have a plaque in the library with Ms. Melford's name on it, and she worked there for a long time, and she was an integral part of the library. I love Ms. Melford. She was such a wonderful, wonderful lady. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so it runs in the family. Brenda's, Brenda's been on the board for 18 years, and we want to we want to thank everyone for for their uh, service to the board. So come by and visit us at the library. Uh, um, and I do say summer reading program, we, we are gonna require masks and social distancing there. Because we have a lot of grandparents that bring their grandchildren. Yes. And so we wanna we, we continue to keep everyone safe and in person. So we're, we're so happy to be able to do that this mm -hmm. year. So lots of good things going on at the library. So come by and visit with us uh, at the library. Oh, well I know everybody's excited that uh, get, you know, things back more to back to normal. and We like it's, normal. <laughs> it's just been a, a really rough last It's been a crazy several time months, for, but, for everybody. But and we, we have made it to the We have, and people have been really nice about it, and we, and we yeah. want to thank everybody for being nice and supporting yes. us in what we've, what we've tried to do. That's true. Well, we appreciate you. Well, uh, I saw this in the paper too, Kathy. All right. It's a children's mental health fair. Okay. It's going to be May 15th from 9 to 2. It's going to be, oh goodness, I didn't put it down here, but I think it's at Greenbrook Park. Well, make sure you double check that. It I, I, believe it is. I believe it is. You think it is? I okay. believe it is. Children's games, balloon art, resources for children and family, face painting, cotton, candy. And popcorn. And popcorn. Yeah. It's hosted by Systems of Care across Tennessee. Yeah. Now, you know, uh, talking about this next event that's coming up is going to give you a reminder of what's coming up in July. But Miss Jamboree pageant will be Saturday, June 26th at the DeKalb County Complex. It's for ages one day to 20, to 20 years. Wow, well, well. Yeah. All age groups, huh? And if you need an application, you can find it online or uh, check out the Jamboree, I think the Facebook page, I've got it on the Chamber page, but you can also go by the Smithville Review and they'll have them there. Okay. Yeah, so. Sounds like fun. And then of course, if you love live music, which we all well, do. Who doesn't like live music? Check out the Burlout Rooms Facebook page for their lineup of musicians and other special upcoming events. And they're located there across from Twisted Oaks at 175 Hurricane Ridge Road. That used to be the drive-in theater. Visited there many yeah, times. That really dates us, Kathy. Uh, I know. That's yeah. what we know it as, the They're on the weekends, every weekend. Mm -hmm. And then Bert's new event place yeah. called The Harvester. It it's is. next door to First Bank. It is wonderful. And it's looking great. 
date. It's supposed to be open on the day of the summer downtown block party. 22nd. Yeah. May 22nd. Yeah. So it's going to be fabulous. Everything Bert does, he puts 100% in. The, the building is beautiful. Yeah, I mean, it's really, gorgeous. It's, it's really That was very neat. insightful and creative in, in everything he's done for it. A lot of new things coming to the, our community. Yes. A lot of fun and, stuff. And then I want to remind everybody from Middle Tennessee Natural Gas, right, round off your gas bill for their Project Hometown Help project. It's just a few cents monthly. It's less than 50 cents a month at the top. It and may it, be only a few cents. And it cents. does a lot of good in our community. Oh, it helps so many worthwhile it does, organizations. It does. And then the Farmer's Market. Yes. Kathy. Remember to visit our local DeKalb County Farmer's Market. It's at 205 East Bryant Street, Smithville. Uh, on Saturday mornings. Yeah. Uh, it's located beside the DeKalb County Complex and behind DeKalb Ace Hardware. Check out their Facebook page uh, and to keep up with the farmer's market updates. And and they have some wonderful produce there. I go there in the summer and- Gotta get there early. Yeah, I, when I don't put out a garden, yeah. I'm there to get tomatoes and they have so many wonderful things there. Fried pies and- Ooh, yeah. so get there early and sometimes I, they do kind yes, of- Yes, they do sell things. out of the pies oh, pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, we're so appreciative of them, but but somebody told me last week that some people are still not know exactly where they're located, but just just find the Cabase Hardware, the county complex, and, and it's right you'll there. See it. yeah. yeah, and then all the marinas and the marina restaurants on Cedar Hill Lake have either opened or they're about to open. So give them a call, enjoy some relaxing lake time, and and then also if you love kayaking, you know, canoe the Caney and Caney Fork Outdoors will get you set up for a relaxing trip. Or, Kathy, if high energy is more your style, well, which I know you, well, the 50th annual Smithville Fiddler's Jamboree and Crafts Festival will be live, live this year. Yes. And that's July 2nd and July 3rd. And of course, we'll have on July 1st, we'll have our Thursday night at Evans Park where we'll have hopefully the, I hadn't talked to Miss Faye yet, but I'm assuming the community chorus and, we'll be singing. and Mary Ann's lively cloggers and, and maybe clogging. some more entertain. Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll definitely have some clogging That'll going. On there. We'll have some pre jamboree music. Yeah, it gets us all yeah. in the mood. It's and you people in the come out, mood, Yeah, it's just so fun. And then I want to. We'll have him here um, next month. But Mike Foster gave me a call and said to mark your calendars for July 31st for the upcoming Artifact oh, Show. Yeah. Well, he did that several years I ago. Know. Super successful. Some wonderful My husband loved there. it. Uh, and that's going to be held at the county complex. So we'll get Mike here uh, either uh, in, I'm not usually able to do the July show. So if Kathy's here, Kathy will have him here in July. And if not, we'll definitely have him here in June. So the chamber wants to help promote your news or special events. Call 615-597-4163 or email me at the world's longest Long. email. S. Williams at DeKalb County Chamber, all spelled out, dot org, <laughs> or tag me on Facebook, and I will spread the word. And thank you this morning. We had some wonderful guests this morning. A lot of neat things going on. Thank you, Kathy, well, for being the co-host this morning. Well, you're and of course, we're so grateful to WJLE and DTC TV for sponsoring our Chamber Chat program. And you can watch Chamber Chat on DTC3 as well as their website. Just go to DTC3.tv and click on Chamber Shows to view the program each month. Yeah, and you, you can see us every day. Anytime. Yeah. Not just the Cab County. Yeah. Cold be from yeah. DTC goes around and films Cannon County, oh, yeah. Smith County, who knows who all he films. But go out and check all the shows right. out. There's lots going on lots in the things. Upper Cumberland area. We love our Upper Cumberland yeah, region. We and we appreciate our listening and viewing audiences and hope you enjoy, enjoy today's program and that you join us next month on June 2nd. Same chat time. Same chat channel. And remember, for the love of Tennessee and DeKalb County, have a safe and happy May, everybody. Bye. Oh, and happy Mother's yeah, Day. Happy Mother's Day, yeah. Happy Teacher's Appreciation. Yes. Happy everything. <laughs>